Well, hello and welcome to this week's edition of the City Update. I'm your host, Mark Aaron, Multimedia Design Manager for the City of Danville. This week, we are on the campus of Averett University for a huge announcement for our region. The Danville Regional Foundation has awarded Averett University a $2 million grant to form the Center for Community Engagement and Career Competitiveness here at Averett University. Averett will be partnering with Danville Community College and Piedmont Community College in Roxborough, North Carolina to form this new initiative. Now, it will focus on career readiness, volunteerism, and service learning. We all know how important it is for students to get out into the community and learn a lot more about what they're focusing their careers on. On today's show, we'll hear from the new executive director that has been hired to head up this initiative. We'll also hear from Carl Stahlberg from the Danville Regional Foundation, Tiffany Franks, the president of Avert University, and you'll learn a lot more about this new initiative and how we hope to capitalize on this by keeping these youngsters here in our region for many years to come once they graduate from Avert University, uh, Piedmont Community College or Danville Community College. So we'll take you out to a ceremony that was recently held right here on the grounds of Avert University. Thank you all for coming. Oh, it's just wonderful to have you here. I just want to first welcome our friends from the community. I want to welcome any elected officials among us. I welcome our students, our faculty, our staff, and members of our board of trustees, our chairman, Dr. Calvin Snowden, trustees Hampton Wilkins, Kirk Bidgood, Dan Carlton, I think we have one other, I think Todd Yates may, may be among us. Thank you for being here, and thank you for all the important and meaningful ways that you support us. Thanks to the Danville Regional Foundation, this is truly a momentous, historic, and exciting day. You say, why, Tiffany? Let me tell you why. Because the DRF has made a generous investment of $1,929,750 in the students of our region. So in turn, our students can make a generous impact all across our community. Now we often say, to whom much is given, much is expected. This couldn't be truer for Averett University. Today, we're most grateful to announce that this investment by DRF makes possible the creation of a Center for Community Engagement and Career Competitiveness. You see, we've shared a big dream with the DRF to harness and nurture the talents, the fresh perspectives, and the energy that one of our region's greatest assets can bring to our community, and that's our students. Students at Averett, students at Danville Community College, students at Piedmont Community College. And not only will our region be strengthened as a result, all of our students will learn more and they will learn better. Now it's been proven time and again that we learn by doing we all know that from personal experience. We know that we learn something in the classroom and that we then learn it even better when we can apply it outside the classroom. We call it experiential learning. It's where we combine theory with hands-on experience to give students the opportunity to apply classroom principles with real-life scenarios. And by real-life scenarios, I mean that we make it possible for students to learn through formalized internships, through service learning courses, through volunteering in the community, through undergraduate research. And this gift enables us to provide the support to make that possible for our region's students. And this goes for students in the sciences, goes for students in sports medicine, for marketing, English, religion, philosophy, for every aspect of every discipline. In fact, it's so important to the learning process that Averett's faculty members said, we're going to make it a required component of an Averett education. With this grant, our students will learn concepts in the classroom and then learn to apply them by working with organizations outside the classroom, learning as it should be. And at the same time, our students will become more marketable and competitive in the job search after graduation. And I think what makes this even more significant is when our students, all of our students, spread out around the region, 
using this wonderful region as a learning lab, they will bring eagerness, they'll bring fresh ideas from the classroom, and they'll bring enthusiastic hard work to businesses and organizations at little or no cost to our businesses and organizations. The company, companies, the organizations will benefit, the students will benefit, and the academic discipline benefits. And that's not all, because with this grant, students from DCC, PCC, and Averett will give voluntary service throughout the community, directly helping people in need in our region. And all of us know that that becomes a life-changing experience for all of us. With this grant, students will contribute to the region even before they graduate. And that means several things. It means that when they graduate, many of these students whether they were from this region or not, may be far more likely to stay here and become valued contributing citizens of our region. It also means that our region's economic developers will have yet another arrow in their quiver as they recruit new businesses and industry to the area. Now I have more exciting news. We have the perfect person in our midst to establish and lead this center. I say perfect because she's been leading the development of academic partnerships for the past several years. She's keenly attuned to students and how to meet them where they are. And she is such a highly respected member of this region. She's been active on countless boards and in countless organizations. Her name, her name is known to all of you. I am so pleased to share that the executive director for our new Center for Community Engagement and Career Competitiveness is Alexis Earhart. So for all of this, all of us at Averett University are deeply thankful to the Danville Regional Foundation and its board of directors. We've all heard the phrases game changer and win-win. Well, here they are. The investment is both a game changer and it is a win-win because we're changing the lives of students, the lives of organizations, and our region. And it is my privilege to invite Dr. Carl Stauber, President and CEO of the Danville Regional Foundation, to make some remarks. Thank you, Dr. Stauber. <laughs> On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Danville Regional Foundation, uh, Dr. Franks, thank you very much for the honor and the privilege to be part of this great day. It's just so exciting, um, you know, to look around and to see all the students, um, to see all the blue and the gold, uh, to see Day to Engage uh, t-shirts in the crowd, uh, the whole bit. So it's a, it's a wonderful, uh, a day of celebration. About four years ago, we asked a group of interns who were working, who were spending their summer at the Danville Regional Foundation, what can we do to make this region more attractive, stickier to young people, particularly young people um, who are just completing their education uh, in our region. And part of what the interns answered was service learning and community service. So in many ways, today's conversation is a continuation of a conversation that began with a group uh, of college students who were spending the summer with us, um, including students from, from Avery. The basic concept is that the more engaged students are in their community, the better they do academically, and the more likely they are to stay in the region. So it's almost, in some ways, a no-brainer. Um, under the leadership of my colleague, Wendy Everson, who's uh, in, the, in the audience, uh, we reached out to Piedmont Community College, we reached out to Danville Community College, and we reached out to Averett and said, would you be interested in a regional initiative that explores this whole notion of service learning and community service? 
And we were very pleased that all three institutions came back with a resounding yes. In the first several years, um, under the Engage Dan River Region Initiative, uh, we had 45 community partners, mostly nonprofits. Uh, we had 142 service learning students across all three institutions. Over 500 students volunteered in the community. Over 5,000 hours were volunteered through the effort. And if you put a monetary value on that, it's about $130,000 to nonprofits in the region. Today, we celebrate taking this uh, to a new level with the creation of the center and, uh, and the exciting leadership that has been tapped for that role. So we believe this is another important step for Averett, for DRF, and for most importantly, this region. So thank you very much. We appreciate being part of it. My name is Bruce Sism, president of Danville Community College. I am most delighted to be here today and to share in this announcement, to be a part of this announcement. I've been here for one year. One of the things that attracted me to the possibility of this position was this kind of an endeavor. Uh, we know that education changes a person's life. It improves a community. But there's nothing like service learning. It's virtually unparalleled in having that student come out to be more fulfilled with their experience. We are propelling the leaders of tomorrow when we do this, and an engaged student is not only more likely to graduate, but is likely to graduate and make a difference in their own lives and in the lives of the community. And if you, if you multiply that kind of a leadership by the experiences that these individuals, these, these students will have through the course of their life, they touch literally thousands of people in their careers. So I am most happy to be here. This is a wonderful thing. I think one of the best things that's happened in the region to propel education and quality of life, quality of life uh, in the area and deeply grateful to the foundation for the support. Thank you. My name is Walter Bartlett. I'm the uh, president of Piedmont Community College in Rossboro, North Carolina. And on the behalf of the students, faculty, staff, trustees, uh, we are glad to be included as the out-of-state relative in this <laughs> arrangement, and we, we greatly appreciate that. This endeavor, I think, uh, it really goes to what I believe are the three R's of education, some basics, relationships, relevance, and rigor. If you get students to get relationships, build those relationships both within the cohorts, within their own students, within the community, and then make their education relevant, and that's where the service learning, the community, where, what does it mean, why, why am I doing this? How often have we heard that in the classroom? Why are we learning algebra? But uh, if you can build that relationships, you can show the re relevance. I really believe you can make coursework and you can make jobs and that as rigorous as you want and students will rise to the occasion. So I think this, is, this goes on, the three R's. And I appreciate being here and I appreciate the opportunity, I, I, the partnership, and we look for more. And we, again, we thank uh, Carl and the DRF for their efforts and I, I look forward to working with them at Community College in April. Hello, my name is Morgan Jones. Um, it was a great honor that Avert University and Alexis asked me to speak on behalf of not only Avert University but also PCC and DCC. Um, I'm a transfer student myself from DCC. I was introduced to Data Engage and service learning at DCC. Um, with the help of Angie McAdams and the Admissions and uh, Educational Foundation and Shannon and Cheryl, I was given a start in service learning and I was given the chance to see what it was like. Um, it touches the lives of many people. I have done several different events. Um, the last event that we had was Play to Engage, and it was with the after school children and Healthy Choices. Uh, this meant a lot to the after school children just to get involved with them, to see them, to give back to our community. And that is the most, it's just the most amazing feeling in the world is to know that you're giving back to the community. As far as service learning goes in the classrooms, um, I want to be a teacher. The main reason that I want to be a teacher is to touch the lives of children and to give the gift of education. Um, service learning prepares me for that. I have experienced it firsthand. 
And uh, several instructors have told me that, you know, they have students that go through the program, they do the service learning, and they have employers call them and say, hey, this student went through your course and they went through your school, and they're outstanding. And, you know, they're the first picks, they're the first ones that people see, because not only have they given back to our community, but as several other of the leaders up here have said, they stay in our community. Um, so I would like to thank um, DRF to give me, for giving me the opportunity to participate in such an amazing program. And I am thrilled that they are giving Averett University this generous um, gift to continue it and to allow me to grow in service learning here at Averett. Um, thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Sarah Fulmer and I'm the CEO of the Danville Family YMCA and I'm honored to be here today to tell you a success story with this program. We had eight students that worked with Dr. Huckstep in a PR and marketing class and it couldn't have come at a better time. As you know, we're building our new YMCA and we have limited resources and staff at the YMCA. So to be able to have these eight students come to the YMCA and provide a wonderful marketing and PR program for our new facility was just outstanding. They did a great job. They spent 16 weeks with our staff members to develop this program. They came and they gave a presentation to our board of directors and they did a phenomenal job. And we just want to know, when are we getting our next group? <laughs> So, in fact, we actually hired one of the students, and he currently works at the, at the YMCA and does a great job for us. So we are just so thankful for this program. It's so wonderful, wonderful for the students, it's wonderful for the organization, and it's great for them to get involved in the community. So, thank you. Good morning. I want to echo Dr. Franks welcomes to everyone this morning. It's great to see Dr. Snowden, our other board members. Um, thank you, Dr. Franks, for everything. I have a question for you all. What can Averitt do for you? I think Sarah Fulmer just answered that question. I think the children at the Boys and Girls Club can answer that question. Those of you who've had Averitt students as volunteers, who've hired an Averitt student as an intern, or employed an Averitt graduate, could also answer that question. Those of you who've done the same with our wonderful DCC and PCC students could answer it too. It's a question we've asked ourselves repeatedly as we thought about how to take our community engagement initiatives to the next level for our students and for our region. Our answer, the Center for Community Engagement and Career Competitiveness, is premised on meeting your needs while continuing to prepare our stu students to serve and lead as catalysts for positive change. Averett University, Danville Community College, and Piedmont Community College have a history of working together. Over the last two years, as Carl Stauber mentioned, the Data Engage events have brought together more than 500 student volunteers from our institutions to perform more than 5,200 hours of service. In those same years, eight new service learning courses have been developed, and close to 150 students have completed those courses. Building on the partnerships that already exist, the center will work to connect you with our students and faculty from all three institutions. As we've heard already this morning, experiential learning and volunteerism benefit our students in countless ways. Students who participate in service learning courses are more likely to graduate. Those who complete internships are more desirable on the job market. And students who volunteer go on to be more civically engaged in this community. More college graduates who remain here and also who are committed to improving our region, I'll support that. And my guess is that each of you would too. I'd like to thank Dr. Franks for her leadership. In addition to our students and the DRF, it was her vision for a sustainable initiative that would live long beyond any of our times here at Averitt, Averitt that has brought us to today. I'd like to thank Dr. Sism and Dr. Bartlett for their unwavering commitment to this endeavor. I'm confident that our collaborative efforts will, in fact, be a game changer for this region. And finally, I'd like to thank the DRF staff and its board for this generous grant. You can be sure that we will be good stewards of these funds and always keep students at the center of everything that we do. So as you leave here today, I ask you again, slightly rephrase, not what Averitt can do for you, but what can the center do for you? 
At this time, I'd like to ask Carl if he wouldn't mind joining me, and if Morgan, uh, Morgan Jones is gonna present a <coughs> gift to him on behalf of the students um, of our region. Do you wanna? Yeah. Yep. For those of you who can't see, it's an Engage t-shirt, which we had many of our students, faculty, and staff sign, and the plaque reads, in appreciation of the Danville Regional Foundation's service to the region from a grateful Averett community. Again, thank you all for being here this morning. Well, joining me now is the new executive director of this huge announcement that we have here today, Alexis Earhart. And first off, Alexis, I want to say congratulations. And just talk a little bit about this new center, what it's going to do for this community. And I'm so excited about the collaboration between DCC, PCC, and then also Avery University. It's incredibly exciting, Mark. So the center is called the Center for Community Engagement and Career Competitiveness. And what it's gonna allow is for us at Averett individually to put under one umbrella our career services, undergraduate research, internships, service learning, and volunteerism efforts. So everything is gonna be together. We'll have the human capital to support all the things we've been wanting to do here, yeah. um, but have been relying really on our friends at DRF to help us with. Right. And in terms of collaboration, we're gonna be able to provide that same support to our colleagues at DCC and PCC. Right. So when we're out developing partnerships, we're not just talking about Averett. It. We're talking about all three institutions. And when we talk about interns, they're from all of the institutions. And we heard a lot today about how service learning can really impact a community, not only for the student side of it, but also for these companies and individuals that are taking these students in during these times. So talk about how this new adventure will even encourage that even more in the community and hopefully keep a lot of these young people here in our region. Absolutely. So service learning is more than community service, which is a wonderful initiative in itself. Service learning allows our students to take what they're learning in the classroom. And we heard this morning about our advanced public relations class. Yeah. They were able to take those skills and directly apply them to a plan for the why. This can be applied in any discipline. It doesn't matter if it's biology, working with the Dan River Basin Association, mm -hmm. or perhaps a business class developing a marketing plan for a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. um, it's the perfect mix of students uh, getting more experience and providing that help to organizations that can't, maybe can't afford more human capital. Right. Well, Alexis, now, will, the, will it be housed here at Avert University, the new center? It will, Mark, and we're okay. really excited. We're renovating one of our houses on campus just Great. on the other side of the student center. Wonderful. It's um, 204 Woodland, I believe, and okay. we hope to be in there in the next four to six weeks. Okay, that's what, that was my next question. When will this initiative get off the ground and students actually be coming through your doors for assistance? Well, physically we're not open, but uh, we're open. Okay, um, and right. it was it, we're, we're happy to announce that the work begins now. Um, for the last several weeks since we made our internal announcement, we've already been working with community partners um, right. sort of quietly to develop yeah. more partnerships. Now if there is anyone out there watching this program that would like to be a partner, can they just contact you to get involved in this initiative? Absolutely, and I hope they will. I want to encourage every member of this community to become involved in the center. We're talking about mobilizing thousands of students yeah. to help in this region, and it really is a game changer. Well, Alexis, I, I really uh, appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Congratulations on this new initiative, and we look forward to seeing it growing here in our community. Thanks, Mark. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of the City Update. What an exciting announcement for our region. Again, thanks to the Danville Regional Foundation for the generous $2 million grant to form the Center for Community Engagement and Career Competitiveness here at Averett University. We're so excited about the partnerships that were formed through this initiative with Danville Community College and Piedmont Community College in Roxborough, North Carolina. Again. If you're a local business here in the city of Danville, Pennsylvania County, down into North Carolina, anywhere in our region, and you would like to get involved in this initiative, have some students from Averett, Piedmont Community College or Danville Community College, do some service learning with your business or organization, feel free to give Ms. Earhart a call at the new center. The number on the screen, she would love to talk with you. So until next week, have a great day.